wine country. It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit fountaingroveinn.com. Welcome back. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Once again, Fred Dreyer. Thank you, Mike Horn. Just want to remind you that there's uh, positively, absolutely no obsequious pandering to the righteous niceness during the uh, during the program. And I appreciate uh, anybody who would like to do that to wait till we land. You can do it. By the way, everything in here is galvanized against moisture and for your protection. It is, and in case of any kind of uh, alien attack or anything. Now, uh, Rick Santorum, uh, uh, in his closing speech, his uh, I guess his uh, loser speech. Uh, had had this to say about what the G- GOP needs to do. There's one message that I think we got from uh, from the campaign in Florida, is that Republicans can do better. Yes. We yes. can do better than yes. Yes. we can do better than the uh, the discussion and the and the uh, the dialogue and the and the accusations that were going on in the state of Florida and and really this campaign, you know, went uh, went downhill. Yeah, I would, I would say. I would say it did, you know, but but here's here's what else is also true. Uh, I, I do like I do like the bombardment uh, between Newt and and Mitt. Uh, I do like uh, the fact that uh, you know uh, Newt uh, clearly does not have the machinery or the money that Mitt does. Right. Uh, and uh, and and what you want is you want a good machine to go up against Barack. And uh, and I think uh, I think uh, Mitt has that. Uh, uh, machinery, and he has the money, you know, and uh, and so uh, uh, I want these guys vetted as as best that they can be vetted, you know, and uh, uh, but uh, here's 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 Newt talking about uh, uh, having uh, the country need conservatism and not uh, not a liberal. I don't think the Republican Party is going to nominate somebody whose Romney care is essentially the same as Obamacare. He can do all the personal things he wants. The fact is, on big philosophical issues, he is, for all practical purposes, a liberal, and I am a conservative, and that's what this fight's going to be about all the way to the convention. I agree. I agree that uh, his assessment is that Mitt Romney is a liberal. Uh, I think that uh, Mitt, as I said earlier in the show, that uh, that uh, it's one thing to know uh, what four and four is, and uh, that it's eight, and that you that you uh, that you fix the economy and you uh, address the middle class and you try to do the best thing you possibly can to focus on the middle class and grow the private sector, all those things, and shrink government. But there's also a lot of other things in there uh, that uh, that are that are missing in the country, and that is what it is to be an American. You know, whatever the religious aspect, which I believe is going to be coming up here pretty soon about what uh, Barack Obama's uh, health, religion will, what, uh, what the health plan system is, is, is demanding on uh, on religion in terms of insurance and coverages and things like that. And the church is not going to like this and they're going to fight it all the way. So by the time we get into, uh, you know, election mode and we start getting frothed up, you know, come uh, Labor Day, uh, you know, I, I, I or, uh, you know, Memorial Day, Labor Day. Then uh, uh, you know you're going to see an awful lot of things come to the to the to the front, and and uh, and you're going to have to have a representative in from the Republican Party, a candidate who was going to be able to handle the barrage that they're going to see while he delivers a message for the base, and and that's what we're talking about. Uh, Here's uh, here's what uh, Mitt was saying, uh, uh, you know, about uh, about Barack Obama's uh, first term in office. Three years ago this week, a newly elected President Obama faced the American people and he said, look, if I can't turn this economy around in three years, I'll be looking at a one term proposition and we're here to collect. All right. I like that. Great that's sound a good bite. statement. That's, that's a, a great good. that's a, it's a great soundbite. And it's it's uh, something that is uh, that, that that can outline. Um, a, a strategy to talk to people that that type of a truth will put him ahead of the the uh, the uh, personal attacks uh, of uh, Barack Obama here coming up here. You know, at, at once uh, once we decide, you know, uh, you know who our uh, representative is going to be for the Republican Party. Yeah. 
Sorry, that just happened. Would you sit on something? Yes, I th th that was not there. I was setting something up for you. Yeah. But anyway, you are absolutely right. I think that, 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 that when you say everybody has to be vetted out, I believe that also the candidates change because they see what needs to happen. And so yes. Mitt has to become more conservative. And the pressure that Newt or Rick Santorum puts on him, and even Michelle Bachman was speech, uh, speaking today, maybe even giving uh, Mitt some of her speech writers, I think will help in that process. That's what's got to happen. Yeah, I heard the both Screech Owls uh, had a pretty good uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, comment to say, you know, that's Sarah Palin. You know, I heard her last night, and uh, boy, I, we dodged a bullet not having to listen to four years of that. Well, she's, I like what she says, but it's the way she says it. It is a little, <laughs> the voice could get to you after Type a while. it out for me. I'll read it. <laughs> but don't say it. Type it out? Is that Just what you type want? it out. Type it out so you can read it. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to hear her say it. Oh, Michelle. me and Todd, me and Todd are up in the helicopter over here, and we're, we're fishing for salmon. You know, and, 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 and that's what it is. It's uh, it, It's terrible. But uh, but we don't have to worry about her. I don't ever believe she. I don't think she'll ever become president. But as long as she stands out, you know, about a hundred yards away from me and looks great, you know, and and and, and types it out, types I'm it fine out. with her. You want emails? Yeah, I just don't. I, I, I don't. Michelle Bachman's voice is okay though. Michelle is uh, all right. Uh, no. Really? No, no, no. It's not. Uh, not. I don't want to. I, I I don't want to listen to it as I'm uh, driving up, uh, you know, Pikes Peak for a camping trip. That's not. Yeah, not I don't want to listen. To you. Can you imagine her in the back seat complaining? Well, if I'm thirsty. <laughs> when are we going to stop? As the president, I don't think you'd want to be saying I'm thirsty. <laughs> you think she'd say I'm thirsty? Oh yeah. When are we going to stop? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. You know, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything else uh, other other than uh, to say to. Uh, you know, to people like that, just uh, God bless you. you. You can have some potato salad, but stand over there. Still, but the vetting process is working, there, the, right? The vetting process is working over there, and I like the fact that uh, Newt is going to have to speak up for himself, and he better do it. He better do it and, and uh, do it correctly and address the same uh, the, the right things that America wants to hear. Otherwise, it's Barry, baby. We'll be right back. <laughs> 